Let's see if the sound works. Yeah, um, I just want to check the sound works before I kick off. Is the sound on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Say, say something. It's working, or you're from Woking. <laughs> Morning, how are you doing, Steve? All right. Um, yeah, brilliant, guys. I've, obviously, I've, I've been talking about trade shows and I've been cut off a few times. But basically, I want to talk about how you can... One sec. How you can... Um, how you can find clearance. How you can find... Let's put it another way. How to find... Highly profitable products, cheaper than factory prices. So this is this is a really cool. Um, that's better. Uh, yeah. So I I want to talk about trade shows and how you can go to trade shows and find like highly profitable um, products at way under factory China factory prices. So you can buy you can buy deals from these trade show exhibitors that are cheaper than uh, China factory prices, cheaper than original manufacturer's cost. You know the cost of making the product. You can buy it cheaper than that. And so yeah, can you just can everyone hear me loud and clear? Cool, cool. Okay, so. These trade shows I was saying about, the, the one that's just started this weekend, the Birmingham Gift Fair is amazing. It's a, it's one of, it's probably the biggest trade show in the UK, um, apart from the other one that they do in, I think it's September, which is the Autumn Gift Fair. So the Spring Gift Fair, it, they do two a year. So the Spring Gift Fair started this weekend and it's massive and they've got 25 to 30 halls that you can walk around and if you ever get chance to go to these trade shows you need to go because there's a lot of stock that you can find at highly highly discounted prices you know there's a lot of cheap deals to find of course those companies that are there selling their new ranges of stock and they've set up these amazing stands that have cost them thousands of pounds. They all have some stock inventory in a warehouse that they need to get rid of from last year. And so if you walk round and had a look round and just introduce yourself to various companies and ask them the question, do you have any stock you want to clear? Any highly discounted products? And... I go to these trade shows, but I go to some overseas and there's some amazing trade shows that you can find. The great thing about trade shows is that you've got a load of companies all in one place at once. So instead of, you know, contacting companies online or, or phoning them up one at a time, you've got thousands of companies together in one place all at once. So you, you have a whole day or a few days at these trade shows, but they're all in one place. So it's very, that's, that's really efficient to do. Um, that's really efficient thing to do. You can just go and meet hundreds of people over a few days and get offered lots of different stocks. And, you know, there's some, there's, there's some good deals to be had from these trade shows. Um, if you don't know about the trade show industry, there's trade shows for every industry and every product category. So, you know, there's like toy trade shows, cosmetics trade shows, clothing trade shows, gift trade shows, 
there's a trade show and in your country that you're in, there's trade shows covering a lot of these industries. And, you know, it's worth just travelling and you can go on their website. So you find the trade show first. All you have to do is go on events, I, E-V-E-N-T-S, events, I, E-Y-E, dot com, events, I, dot com. And that's a big, big, it's a big directory of web, of trade shows right across the world. And so you can actually get fine trade shows across every product category, across every industry. And you can click through and you can actually locate the link. There's a link to the website of that trade show. And so you can actually find, you can actually get more details and you can apply for a, um, um, an entry pass, you know, a free entry pass as a business, um, you know, a trade entry pass and get one cent and then go to the trade show and you get free entry, you get a ticket to get in. And so another way, as I was saying before, that I do, I hack into these trade shows all around the world without actually going to the trade shows. So I get in contact with trade exhibitors across lots of different trade shows across the world um, through the websites, through the exhibition websites. And how I do this is I find the A to Z of the trade exhibitors. And you can it brings up a list of all the trade exhibitors, which is great. And... Cool, okay. So, sorry, I was just checking something on my computer then, make sure the sound worked. So these trade shows, I I don't go to many anymore. I go to some in the UK where I'm based, but I used to go to a lot of the overseas trade shows all, all around Europe. Um, I used to go to China all the time for many years, which is another thing that I'll do on a Facebook Live about China and... Um, you know, the trade shows there and, you know, I had some unbelievable experiences. I, I used to import a lot of products from China, um, many years back. Uh, but that's another, that's another story. So I, I like to go on online and find trade shows, what trade shows are coming up in the UK or Europe or wherever, and look for specific trade shows, trade exhibitions that are specific to different products. So it might be like a clothing trade show. It might be um, a sports related trade show, maybe fitness, you know, sports and fitness trade show. Uh, literally anything. You know, if I wanted to look for electrical products, I'll, I'll go to an electrical, electronic related trade show. But as I was saying, with them be with a lot of them being overseas, and it's costly to you know go to these trade shows. You've got your airfares, you've got hotel fees, and food, and it all adds up to a lot of money. And I like keeping my costs down. Okay, I like to be efficient because with the internet now in our business, in the stock inventory clearance surplus inventory business, you can be very very efficient. And you can still get hold of these trade exhibitors, even if you don't go to the trade shows. You can do it from your computer anywhere. You can go on the, go on the trade show website and find, click around and you'll find A to Z of exhibitors. A to Z of the exhibitors. And it gives an A to Z list of all the exhibitor stands and it gives all the information what they sell you know where they're based and it will give a, a link to their website and sometimes it gives a, a phone number and an email address and you know grab their details and get in touch with them give them a call um you know email them 
um, if you can't find their email or, or phone number, click through to their website and find it. So, you know, I, I basically, what I do is I hire um, VAs. Now, VAs are virtual assistants. Um, I'm giving you guys a real big value bomb today on this because I do a mini training that I charge $47 for. Now, it, it's a lot more detailed, but this is the outline of what I do, of how I find surplus and clearance deals from these trade shows without even attending these trade shows. So that is my value bomb. This is my Sunday value bomb on how to find highly profitable products cheaper than factory prices from trade shows without even attending. Okay, boom! So let's do it. So basically, you go onto the trade show websites and find the A to Z list of exhibitors. Yeah? Okay, you find the A to Z list of exhibitors. And what you do is you hire a virtual assistant online. And now you can, if you Google virtual assistant or VA, you can hire one online. And it's basically having a, <clears throat> it's, it's like having someone working for you. But it's just jobs and tasks that they can do for you online. Okay, it's virtual. So you're, the, they'll do any kind of admin work and they'll charge you an hourly rate. And, you know, you can get the VAs like in the Philippines for three to four, five dollars an hour. Uh, but what, what I do with these exhibitor lists is I send them the link to the trade show website and the, the link with the, to the A to Z list of exhibitors. And I get them to build me a list of all the trade show exhibitors' email addresses, okay? I get a virtual assistant to build a list of all the trade show exhibitors' email addresses. And so what I do is I pay them either an hourly, hourly rate or I will pay them per email address that they get me. Um, normally around 10 cents, uh, $10 cents. Um, so it's cheap. You know, you can, they can build a list of a hundred and it's $10. So it's worth doing. Uh, you can do it yourself, but you know, I like to keep giving them lists to do. So I build, I can pick any trade exhibition in the world and I will get my virtual assistant to build me a list of all the trade show exhibitors' email addresses. Now, this is a great, great hack for our business and to get in touch with a load of the trade exhibitor companies all at once without even attending the trade show, okay? So what I'll do is when I've got that list from my virtual assistant, I will send... I will do a mail shot to these trade show exhibitors, introducing myself and my company. And I will see if they have any surplus stock inventory deals, any deals that they want to, any stock that they've got in their warehouse right now that they want to sell, that they want to clear, okay? That type of stock inventory we can buy at under china factory prices from these trade show exhibitors okay and that is without attending the trade show okay the great thing about it is um you don't it's very time efficient you don't need to get on a plane stay in a hotel for a few days walk up and down these halls for miles and miles each day and you know introduce yourself to these companies and to be honest, you can actually drive them crazy because they spend thousands of pounds built on these beautiful trade exhibition stands. And in a way, they're looking, they're really looking for customers to buy their new ranges of stock. And 
you know, the it doesn't mean much. If they've got clearance deals, you know, to offer you, then that's great. But there's a lot of companies that probably don't. And they don't want people like us walking around saying, look, have you got any surplus stock you want to clear? Um, when they've got a beautiful stand full of, you know, a nice brand new product ranges and they've spent thousands of pounds on a trade exhibition stand and they've got someone coming up to them saying, have you got any surplus stock? So I like to just be efficient and contact them online, you know, by email, uh, before the trade show or after the trade show, it doesn't matter. Um, one thing I like to do is after the trade show, I normally email them and say, I was at the trade show and, uh, you know, your, your, your stand looks amazing and you were very busy and I didn't want to trouble you. Uh, so I thought I'd wait till after the trade show to introduce myself and um, I'm seeing if I can help you. I'm looking to actually spend money with your company and I'm seeing if you have any surplus stock inventory in your warehouse at the moment that you'd like to do a deal on. You know, can we do a deal on any clearance stock that you've got? Um, you know, I've got a budget this month that I need to spend. And if you've got any stock right now, um, could you send me the details, please? And, you know, get into a conversation, get into some a communication with them. Now, if you do a mail shot to a load of these companies, you'll have a percentage that don't have any stock. They just haven't got any. Uh, you'll get a percentage that will say we might have some in a few weeks or a few months. And then you'll get some that have some stock right now. And they will send you the details on email. So it's a numbers game with the trade exhibitions. you know. But the great thing about it is once you've made contact with them all, then you can keep in contact with them all every two or three months. Um, uh, you know, on email or give them a phone call, and you know, you you building a you building a communication and a, a relationship with a contact that you found in that company. So whenever they get any stock, whenever any stock becomes available from their company, anything that they want to clear, you know, any clearance deals, they'll think of you because you've kept in touch with them. Uh, and they'll send you the details. So it kind of, it all, through the year, a lot of these companies start getting in touch with you. They might not straight away when you first make contact with them, but over the year, you'll find that a lot of them start keeping in touch with you. Does that make sense? So guys, I, for, I just want to ask a question. Do any of you, do any of you go to trade shows? actually visit trade shows and walk around do any of you go say uh, comment yes or no Which shows, which shows have you been to, guys? Any good ones? And did you, were you going to look for job lots and clearance deals? And did you find any? Did you, did you, were you successful in finding any clearance? So, yeah, the, the trade shows are a great place, one great place, to find stock. Um, as I say, you can find a lot of job lots and surplus inventory deals from these trade shows. 
and it's just a matter of meeting people and asking them the question, have you got any job lots? Have you got any clearance deals? Have you got anything you want to clear at the moment? And it's a great place to find clearance stock. Um, as I say, I used to go to a lot of trade shows across Europe and around the world. And you get offered lots of clearance. Um, but I used to find it very time consuming. And uh, now I don't really go to many trade shows. I go onto the website and get there. Uh, get the exhibitor list off the website and get in touch with them that way. Um, Steve says, Spring Fair, only to do what you said. After books at time, handed business card out, got little stock. That way. Yeah, I mean, it is very much a numbers game. Um the thing is with the the thing is with the with the with the big spring fair one now what you've got is you've got a lot of companies looking for um stock you've got a lot of companies going round looking for job lots and clearance stock and a lot of one man bands a lot of you know traders going round and it's kind of it's kind of um saturated so if you've got a, if you've got a trade ex a trade stand there over the over the days over the several days that you're exhibiting you probably have 40 to 50 um people coming up to you stand asking if you've got any clearance stock and it kind of drives them mad a lot so as i say what i like to do is not go it's nice to go Sometimes you can just connect with people and a lot of it is timing, you know, and they're just, you just might get on with someone on the stand and, you know, the, you just, it might be a stand that no one's been to and, you know, you'll have, you'll, you'll, it's a numbers game, but I like to get all their details online and email them and just email different companies on the trade show list off the website instead of walking around. I mean, there's a lot of smaller trade shows in the UK that you can go to. Um, you know, way smaller than the Spring Fair. As I say, the Spring Fair, it's saturated now with companies looking for clearance stock, both from the UK and overseas. And, you know, these trade, these trade, show, web uh, trade show stands just get driven crazy by people like us. And, you know, you can understand it because they spend thousands of pounds on these beautiful trade show stands. And then they've got people like us coming up to them saying, have you got any clearance? So, you know, like 50 times a day. Um, but, you know, you can get in touch with them offline. And it's a bit more, yeah, it's not as direct in their face. And so that's what I like to do. I like to just email the company. And of course, you know, on email, you can get the right person. You might not get the right person at the show. Um, so there's a lot of fours and against trade shows. But as I say, my hack is for finding deals without actually going is building a list of email addresses of the all the trade exhibitors and then emailing them all. And, you know, it's just a numbers game. You, you can email them all, and then you'll get so many offers back. And then over the year, you'll, you'll keep hearing from different companies. So, yeah, that's my, um, that's my advice. It is good to go to the shows, to meet people face-to-face, -face, of course, and build a relationship with them. If you don't find any stock straight away, you might in a few months. Because uh, they'll remember you from the trade show. Um, but as I say, for me, I like to do things quick. And I'll just email them. But I, I'll email these companies through the year. Um, not just before or after the trade show. You know, so I I will keep in touch with them on and off through the year. Um, but I, that, that's what I do. I hire a virtual assistant that are cheap. And just send them the link to the a to z list of exhibitors 
and get them to build a list on an Excel sheet of all these trade exhibitors email addresses and then just email them all and you've got that list forever you know and just keep in touch with that list um, but look for trade shows that you're interested in you know you're looking for that specific product category so if you're looking for you know clearance deals on on then obviously look for the look for the clothing trade shows if you're looking for kids and baby products look for kids and baby related trade shows um so yeah there's loads of different there's loads of different trade shows that you can find um just google online trade shows and you'll find loads of different ones and go on their exhibit We're back on? Ah, we're back on. We're back on. So yeah, try some trade shows, guys. Even if it's foreign ones, you know, that you like the look of. I mean, I'll tell you what I did. Um, I did a few weeks ago. I found a trade show on, uh, what was it? It was a, which one was it? Um, it was a cyc cycle, bicycle trade show, bike products. So it was all specific to cycle and bicycle products. So obviously, you know, that industry is massive. Look at all the, look at all the accessories and stuff you can buy for, for bicycles. Um, you know, if you go into a retailer like Halfords or if you look on Amazon at different bike products and the and bikes themselves. So, I, you know, I was looking for bicycle sh trade shows and I got a list built of, of cycle product trade shows. And so I, I emailed them and I got some good offers on some cycle products that I'm working on at the moment. So that's one way of finding surplus stock. And last week I gave you the, the eBay, what I told you. So guys, look, please, please go, go on to my website, www.surplustradersecrets.com. And there's just loads of stuff on there and loads of ways to get involved in this business. And I give you a lot of great ways to get involved in this business um, and getting started in this business. You know, and I've done it for 28 years and I'm consistent in this. And what I'm going to start doing next week, what I'm going to do is on deals that I do, on deals that I do, I'm going to run through the product and the price that I paid and the price that I sold it at. And I'm going to give you details and I'm going to show you the deals that I'm doing and how I found the stock. And, you know, wh what I want you to do next week is, as a, as a challenge, as, a, as an exercise, go and find some stock inventory. This is your challenge, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start a 30-day surplus stock inventory challenge. 30 day surplus inventory challenge. So in the next, right, February, it's going to be all through February. I want you to go and find some stock inventory. Okay. Now I'm going to give you one more tip before I go. Anyone that you know, whether it's friends, family, relatives, any business contacts, any people you work with, 
any one of those people that you know that work for a company or own the company that sells physical products, okay? Do you know anyone that sells physical products and they've got physical stock inventory in a warehouse somewhere, you know? Anyone that you know, right? Maybe on Facebook, have a look through your list of friends on Facebook. Do they work for a company that sells physical stock of something? Do they work for a manufacturer? Do they work for a, a wholesaler or an importer or even a big retailer? And what I want you to do is I want you to message them, okay? Think of, uh, think of someone in your family or friends, acquaintances or contacts on your Facebook friends list. Any of those people that you know work for a company that sells physical products. So they might work for a company that, you know, they might be a distributor for a product. They might work for a manufacturer. They might work in a factory. They might work in a, uh, a wholesaler's place. They might work for a big retail company. Any one of these people that work for a company that sells physical products, I want you to ask them, message them, and ask them if they could find out who in their company deals with any surplus, slow-moving stock in their business, okay? Go say to them that I say you're looking for that kind of stock inventory and you're a stock finder and you're, you're looking for that type of stock. Can they go and find out? Could they possibly do you a favour and ask if, the, if in their company, ask in their company if they have any of that type of stock inventory? And just ask a load of people. Just eat, message all these people that you know, okay? Message them. Even just put a status, put it on your Facebook status. Do you work in a company that sells products and, mess, you know, get them to message you and, you know, see who replies back and then say, can you go find out if you have any surplus stock in your warehouse that you're looking to clear? I'm looking for that type of stock right now. I've got buyers for that type of stock. Um, could you find out who deals with that type of stock? There might be someone in the company that, that handles all the surplus and clearance stocks. Um, or it just might be someone high up, you know, it might be a, a sales manager or a sales director. It might be a warehouse manager. It might be a procurement manager. Um, it might be a, um, just someone just ask them to find out who and say, look, can you get back to me? Can you find out and get back to me? Is there a name there of someone? Or maybe they can see if there's any stock inventory, you know, and offer you it. You know, that person that you know. Um, and even the people that you know, their partners, you know, their girlfriends or boyfriends or husbands or wives that work in a company that sells physical stock, physical products. So you might know someone whose husband works for a company that sells a product or something and, you know, get in touch and, you know, you've got a mutual friend, um, you know, and introduce yourself and say, um, have you got any clearance stock in your company that you want to clear? These are the ways to get started in this business. Getting, find the people that you know, family, friends, relatives, acquaintances. You know, all the people on your Facebook friends list. You might have 500 people. You might have over 1,000. You know, I'm sure some of these people work for companies that sells physical products. And somewhere, they've got stock inventory in a warehouse. And some of these companies will have clearance and job lots. And so what I'm teaching you is, what I'm teaching you is the method to start looking for surplus stock inventory, but direct, directly. So you are 
finding it directly at source. You're not finding it from someone on these buy and sell groups on Facebook. Because that's that stock has come down the line four or five times. And pardon my French, but 95% of the stock on these groups is a fucking waste of time. It's a complete fucking waste of time. And, you know, the prices of are just too high because these people offering this stock on these buy and sell websites are it's just been bought and it's just been bought and sold several times and by the time they're offering that stock on these buy and sell websites the price is not a job lot price it's like it's just not it's just there's nothing cheap and you know i've been watching these groups for months uh, for the last year or two and there's nothing on there that's the right money it's the wrong price and what i want what i'm what you can learn from me is how to get this type of stock directly from source okay not from these traders um that are where who have bought it off someone who's bought it from a wholesaler you know it's just gone down the line too many times I'm going to go into detail more on more of this next week, okay? Cause, you know, it's a fucking waste of time, this stock. And you probably agree with me as well. I don't know how much stock you've bought from these job lot, surplus and clearance websites. But, you know, what you're going to learn from me is where to find stock directly from source. And as I say, the best starting point if you want to start right from scratch again, go message, go go message your Facebook friends list and ask any of them if they work for a company that sells product, physical products. And I guarantee all of the companies they work for that sell phys physical products will have stock in a warehouse somewhere, wherever, you know, their warehouse or a third party warehouse. And that's just a great way, it's a great angle to get in with these companies through people that you know. So start with your Facebook friends list and literally either message them or put just put something on your status. Um, here's what to put, just a very simple message. Do you work for a company that sells physical products? Do you work for a a uh, manufacturer, importer, wholesaler, big retailer, question mark, and see who replies, okay? Uh, or, and at the end, put please share even, so people share it as well. And um, don't put why, just put that question. Do you work for a company that sells physical products? For example, manufacturer, importer, distributor, wholesaler, big retailer. So all those types of companies or warehousing company. Um, so, you know, and just wait and see what replies you get. And then, you know, message them on Facebook Messenger when you get a reply uh, and say, I'm... Um, looking for any clearance stock or surplus stock and basically i'm a, a buy and sell that type of stock or say i'm uh, i'm working as a stock finder uh i get paid to find that type of stock clearance stock surplus stock can you go and ask the can you go and ask someone in your company um who deals with that type of stock or can you ask someone in your company if they've got any of that type of stock at the moment. And I'm telling you, you'll get some results. You'll get some results. So Steve says, funny enough, I've been watching Facebook sites. Yes, waste of time. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm a bit stiff this morning. Oh. So yeah, it's. I'm gonna do more on this, but what I found is, you know, these, Buy and sell websites are, you know, 90%, 90 to 95% a waste of time. 
what what I have the the the, the other five percent is for me is make I've made a few contacts I've made a few contacts on there uh, of people that are looking for stock um and you know I've put them on my mailing list for when I get stock that they're looking for um but I haven't made any money yet on these websites on on these Facebook groups uh I've built contacts but haven't made any money yet now um there is what there are ways to make money on these websites but for me the way to make money on these buy and sell groups on Facebook is if I'm if I'm actually offering the stock myself if I'm offering the stock um not for finding stock I don't think that's any good but if I find any small lots of of stock any small lots of clearance deals that I'm finding direct then there's a lot of like buyers on these buy and sell groups to sell small lots to but not big lots you know if i find a truckload of stock then you you probably won't find a buyer on these buy and sell websites that will buy a truckload of stock from you you'll have to you'll have to sell them you'll have to sell it off in small lots which i don't do i've got buyers already to buy a full truckload off me you know i it's good for small lots for offering but for for finding stock at the right price on these buy and sell websites it's a waste of fucking time um the prices are too high all of the prices are too high i mean i you know i, I get messaged i get offered stuff from people and they're, they're offering me 50 percent of the retail price they say I've got a job lot and, um, you know, it's a thousand pound retail um, and I want 500 pound for it. I'm clearing it for 500 pounds. What? I mean, you know, it needs to be, it needs to be cleared. It needs to be sold and retailed for way under 500 pounds. You know, it needs to be, it needs to be bought for, I'll, I'll go into this in the future so i'm not even going to go into it you know if i'm offered if you're if you're offered some stock and and the retail value is a thousand pounds on that stock right i'm going to teach you what that stock is worth okay what that stock is worth um and it certainly isn't worth 50 percent of the retail price it's worth way 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 under it's worth under china factory price costs and there's a reason for that, which I'll go into in more future things. So listen, I'm going to call it a day, but I'm doing these every day. And you're going to get so much value throughout February, guys. But go onto my website. Please get started on something. And, you know, go onto my website and get started. Start picking up some of this training that I'm teaching. Um, but as I say, get in touch with all your Facebook friends list and ask a question on your Facebook status. Do you work for a, do you work for a company that sells physical products? Um, like I've explained and see what replies you get and come back to me and tell me what you've been offered. Okay. This is your February clearance surplus clearance challenge. Let's see what deals you can find in February. And, and let's see if we can get you some results. Let's see if we can get some money made this month, okay? Let's see if we can get you some money made through February. It would be good to see. Um, so I will catch up with you again tomorrow with some more great value. I will see you soon. Have a good weekend.